Well, you can't really have art without love, I think. You know, like, well, maybe love probably overrides art. Hey, stop. I'm out west. I'm out west till Friday. I'm out west till Friday. I'm out west, man. Till Friday. I'm out west. Don't film me. That's a legal drive. <laughs> okay. Friday. See you, bro. See you, mate. Yeah. I'd take you for a drive, but the keys are in Bill. So you can't do anything like what you came to do? Yeah, it's going to be a, putting a sink and everything in it, and the bed. And it's going to be a travelling studio. We'll go uh, get some sand, because I've got to go to the quarry just here. And I'll take you to this old Irish pub. Some friends of mine own it. Pickle, put the hamburgers. Hamburgers, I'm telling you. Hamburgers. Hey, you with the fluffy ears, watch what you're doing. I'm going to take you to McDonald's. <laughs> watch a man in a shopping centre in Pacific Fair and then I, um, I started oil painting through watching him. My drawings were like my passion for many years so when I went down to the Blue Mountains and went to Norman Lindsay's studio and then I discovered that he died in um, August the 11th 1969 and I was born on August 12th, 1969. So I made a, a simulation and a, and, and, a, uh, and a completion in my mind that I was like the reincarnation of a, in a crazy way. I went from being very shy to opening up because of art. So for me, it's been a great adventure. Although I long for loneliness sometimes. And going out west is my healer. So to be out there alone for three or four days and not talk to anybody, just the trees and the birds is a great experience. Out west, I'm creating a landscape. That's what I'm doing, is creating a landscape. But I'm creating one that, will, um, will, that nature can be a part of. So in, in what I'm doing at West, I'm merging art and nature, and that's the process that I'm enjoying. And that's what is the underlying reason for what I, why I go out there. Handy tool, the man. 
over here, we're actually creating a landscape. Man, encroaching or, you know, building it into nature. That's my idea right here to, to make a structure that blends in with nature, that nature takes part of, takes, takes a part of it. But also with that obvious man-made. Here in the wild west. So uh, creating a landscape in reality is really exciting. Uh, you don't have to keep sharpening your pencil. But I, I find love is, um, it's like the changing winds, you know. I, I'm, not, I'm not very, um, I've never had a long, long relationship. I haven't met more than three years, four years. I'm not, I'm not a um, stayer, really. Like that, I find I get I get frustrated and bored. I hate them. It's like a pig. I mean, like a, like a um, it's like a willow, doesn't it? Maybe it is a willow. So it is maybe. Could be a big guy sleeping in up a dead branch up there. Um, any love I've experienced? I haven't had the love of a child, my own child yet. Well, it's, it's not over for me. I'm not out the door or out the window yet. I'm only 42. So I could have a child anywhere up to like 55, 60, cause, and I might have one next year. I just got to find a, a female that's you know crazy enough. Beautiful build stones to build out of. I enjoy this much more with gloves. children, we just got told to go out to get rocks. Pick up rocks. The danger of love is losing it. Um, but love can live forever, I guess, eternally inside you. Waiting for Jessica for eight months to come back from Europe and, and her not talking to me for two months of that, that was hard. <laughs> she, she was everything that I ever dreamt of, you know, so it's, it shocked me a little bit that it didn't work out. It was like, it was, you know, it had all the ingredients of a, a setting for a movie, you know. Something was going to happen, and it did. And it was beautiful. But it was also a lot of pain involved. You know. Everything goes up, must come down. So it was a great experience for me. But I, I need a break from that. <laughs> I, c I couldn't do that again for a while. Longing for somebody. You know. I should poke the chicken. Poke it or pull it. Well, when I when I started painting, it's like it's a bit like when you first date. You know, it's like you 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 first got that excitement, initial excitement that something's going to happen, and, and when you're halfway through the painting, it's a joy. When you finish the painting, it's amazing. You know, but sometimes you sell the painting and it's gone forever, but the memory remains. So art and love have that thing where you, if you create a beautiful piece of art and it breaks on the floor or if it gets stolen or if you sell it, then it can remain with you throughout your life, same as love. If you fall in love and she leaves on an aeroplane and it can still remain inside your heart. So art and love have that similarity to me. Fuck them all. <laughs> <laughs> they feel that. <laughs> Do you think I look like George Clooney? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you look like a shampoo commercial. <laughs> Man <-poo. laughs> Well, when I was around the round table on Planet Nu, they told me that I was to come here and educate people about the higher dimensional state spaces. But then it all got confused, and I ended up in this state space, which is like, and I'm locked in. That's where you guys fit in. Because I'm building a spaceship out there. I told you it was a castle, but it's really a spaceship. <laughs> You've got the soundtrack for the little <laughs> <laughs>